my tutorial channel Amity. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make a text typography like blending an image in a text using PowerPoint like this one. If you learn from this tutorial, don't forget to like and share this with your friends, classmates, and co-teachers. Remember, sharing is caring and might as well subscribe and hit the notification bell. So like I said, I will be demonstrating to you a text typography in PowerPoint. First, open your PowerPoint. Okay, let's click the blank presentation. Then in your home tab, click layout. And then choose the blank slide. And then go to the insert tab. And it's ribbon. You'll find the text box over here. Click text box and insert it in your slide. So let's make it bigger. And then key in your or enter your text. So I'll have city. You may double click it to highlight your word. And then let's change its font to Arial Black. And resize it and let's make our text bigger. Press Ctrl and close parenthesis. Okay, so I guess this is big enough. And then right click on your highlighted word. Then down here, you can find the format text effects. So click it. And then once you click the format text effects, a format pane will pop up in the right side of your screen. So, what we need is the text option. Click the text option and then the text, fill, and outline. So, you click it. So, we have the text fill and the text outline. Click the text fill and then you have option of no fill, like this one, solid fill. And if you had solid fill, you can choose your color. So, you can have red yellow or whatever and then you can also uh, choose gradient fill so like this one and then there's also wait okay, there's also the pattern fill okay like this one okay, but what we need is the picture or texture fill so you click it there is an option here whether your picture comes from your file in your computer or online. So, let's have this from file. So, I'll add my picture, these buildings, and then insert. And then, tada! You already blended your picture in your text. But, you can do more with this. So, highlight this again. You can have it bold or underline like that one. Or, you can have more text effects by clicking the format and then text effects in this ribbon, text effects. Uh, we can bevel it, my favorite one. Okay. Or, you can add also a shadow so that it would look like as if it's embossed. Okay, so that's it. You can also copy this typography in your Word document. So how? All you have to do is highlight it again, and then right-click on it, then copy. And then you go to your document, Word document. So you have to do is right-click on it, and then paste. If you click this, that will happen. So that will happen. It's not the typography that we did. So, what you will do is right-click on it and then choose this picture. Let's just resize it. Wrap text first. You have to wrap text first for you to able to move your picture. So, that's it. Your picture is already in the Word document. In your Word document. So, that's it. You can use this typography to make your document more appealing and your modules more motivating. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you learned from this tutorial and if you do, don't forget to hit the like and share and subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you will not miss any of my videos. Until my next video, bella ciao!